Hello and welcome to Spurred On. I'm Reese. I'm here with Emma as Hello. usual. And in this video, we are going to be rating Spurs' international players currently playing in both Europe and the Copper America. Right, we're going to be going through the England boys, then the Belgians, the brothers and more. Uh, the French, which is Hugo Lloris, uh, Ben Davies for Wales, uh, the rest of the Euros, which is just Kevin Vimmer, uh, and then the Copper America boys. First up, we've got the England boys. That's the one that's yes. most heavily populated with Spurs players. Which is great. Uh, which is a great thing. First up, I think we'll go for what I would say Say is the standout England player who's plays for Spurs, Eric Dyer. Oh yes. Uh, now I think Eric Dyer has been sensational yes. for this tournament. Yes. I think he's added to his game weirdly since the end of the season with his uh, some of his passing. Some of his passing has been unbelievable. Some of the balls, Couple that of balls he's into Sturridge that Sturridge really should be doing better with. The sort of passes you would not expect a CDM to be making. No. But he, I mean, it is actually incredible how well he's played. Like, I think everyone knew he was going to do well. But, I mean, considering that before this tournament started, he hadn't he hadn't played a competitive game for England. Yeah. All his caps have been in friendlies. The way that he's come into tournament football, it's like he's been playing it for years. It's Absolutely. amazing to watch. Sort of a fearless player as well. He doesn't seem to get nervous oh, at all, does completely. he? He doesn't seem Just, to be bothered. No, not even vaguely bothered. Not phased by anybody. That's um, the word. He does seem bothered. He doesn't seem phased. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was my, was my fault. He seems very up for being he an England player. He is very up for it. Can see by his uh, celebration when he scored oh, that how, free kick. I mean, that free kick, off. how great phone background that? now, him and Delhi running off together. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, no, it was fabulous. He has been, I think he has it's been, been one of the standout players in the whole tournament, yeah. to be honest. He's definitely England's best player at the moment. Yeah, so, I, yes. Yeah. I think there's three players who've stood out for England and yes. two of them play for Spurs. Yes. And the other one is Wayne Rooney. Uh, so <laughs> we're going to give, I think Eric Dyer's campaign so far, we're, we're going to give it a rating out of 10. Yeah. Um, I am going to go with oh. a eight. Oh. He hasn't really come up against any proper yes. opposition that could challenge him yeah. in that CDM role. Uh, so that's maybe that's why he's had to add this attacking element to his game. Uh, Gareth Bale, he contained Gareth Bale very well, fair point. Yeah, uh, yeah I, a lot of them did. But Bale was anonymous in that second half. Um, I would give him eight and a half. Can we do halves? I mean, we're sure. making this up as we go along. I think eight and a half. I agree with you. I agree with the point about not having come up against much in terms of quality opposition for his position testing him. Yeah. But I think the development of his game in terms of his passes going forward and also the fact that he just... I, I don't think I remember him making like a serious error. He's given the ball away a few times, I think, especially against Wales. But... In terms of an actual problem, actual trouble, I think he's just sat in front of that back four, just cleaned everything up. It's, it's become like, almost first name on the team sheet. It's, yeah. it's astonishing. And he, yeah, every, t he's not come up against loads. What I was going to say is that everything he has come up against, he's dealt he's with just dealt seamlessly. With. And like I said as well, the like. extra half for this being his first competitive football Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, so there we go. 8 and 8.5, average of 8.25. Uh, next up, Good Danny maths. Rose. Good Danny maths. Rose. Don't ask me to do an average every time, please. Um, <laughs> Danny Rose, who I also think has been excellent. Yes. I think Ryan Bertrand playing proved that. Oh I my. think it really highlighted how good Danny Rose has if been. If anybody wants to, and there were a few people on my Twitter yesterday who tried to make the argument that Bertrand brought as much to the team as Danny Rose. No. Absolutely no, not. No, no, no way. Absolutely not. Certainly not going forward. <laughs> and that wasn't a game where you need someone who's more solid at the back. And I don't think he is anymore. No. I think he used to be, certainly, yeah. Okay. Danny, Danny has Rose, been great. has been great. And it's so wonderful to see how he's taken his chance because obviously he didn't get called up until, I mean, he, the first few friendlies he wasn't called up for. Yeah. He was kind of going, why isn't Danny Rose in the England squad? And even when he was included, I still had people querying, going, oh, I don't know how good Danny Rose is, you know? Like, really, is he England's first choice? Surely he's proven it by now. My God, he's been brilliant. And yeah. he's, so, he's another one who is so strong, so fearless. He's obviously brilliant going forward, which, you know, we God, we missed the whip last night. Yes. So filming this, this is so Tuesday, so, so the England narrow. game was last night. Uh, yeah, so we, we were so narrow, and part of the reason was because he wasn't playing. Yeah. Um, but obviously, well, like, when it comes to tracking back and doing his defensive duties, I mean, you don't want to mess with him. He is, yeah, he exactly. is a fan. Of, and he puts his life out. on the line all the time. Always. He's constantly getting those blocks in. He's not bothered. He's, oh, he, I think he's quality. He's a little I don't think house. Bertrand's a bad player. I just don't think he's even comes close to Danny Rose. Nope. Uh, what would you give Danny Rose out of 10 for his campaign so far? Ooh, I'm going to have to go seven, only purely because he didn't play yesterday. Yeah, I am going to go seven as well. That Ooh. makes it an average of, of seven. seven. <laughs> um, however, though, speaking of the Bertrand-Danny Rose effect, I do feel like mm. Nathaniel Klein did make a very good case for himself against Slovakia. Uh, I don't think... Kyle Walker, for me, is the other one in the three yes. that I think have been he's great been for England. I think he's been a revelation 
to, to a lot of England fans, not to a lot of Spurs not fans. Not to the last week, knew he could do it. Year, but, but he has been almost better than he's been for Spurs for England. He, another one um, who's got, he's stepped up his game in the same way that Eric yeah. Dyer has. Different but I levels. don't think we noticed, because Klein was still excellent going forwards. I don't think we noticed it as much on the right as we did on the left yeah. last night. I think uh, that's fair. Two nights ago. Um, but Kyle Walker has been great. Just because Klein's also been good doesn't mean Kyle Walker hasn't been great. No. Um, I'm going to give Kyle Walker a I'm gonna, oh. 7.5. Ooh, see, I'm going to go 8. Okay. I'm going to go 8 five. purely because uh, it's another one who um, has t totally surprised people. Yeah. Nobody, like, like we said, we understood it. We've all seen him doing it for Spurs week in, week out. But a lot of people were kind of like, oh, Carl Walker starting ahead of Klein. Mm. Another one who's just taken his chance and absolutely run with it. So, yeah. Actually, yeah, that's you know what? Why I'm, I'm giving him an eight, eight as well. I'm Ooh, up I've to taught eight. you round. You taught me round. Well, we I didn't go. have any reason to drop him <laughs> down 0.5. <laughs> Less than I gave Eric Dyer, so I thought, why not? Nice. Uh, Dele Alley. Okay, now oh. we get into the tricky business of some of the England players not doing as well as Spurs players. This makes me sad. Yeah. Well, Dele Alley isn't playing in his best position. No. Uh, and the system isn't no. suiting him that well. No. He hasn't really... He has technically got an assist. Technically, just technically. about... Technically. Yeah. Was, would he have got a penalty if we hadn't scored that? No. All right. No, I'm just saying, I'm, honestly, no. Yeah. Um, it was good, quick feet from him. It was good, quick it feet. It wasn't meant to be a pass, really, no. arguably. Was it? I don't know. Uh, Let us know what you the think. Feet the feet were great. I think he was kind of just doing quick feet and then yeah. he just got taken but down a little bit. It's so, it's so frustrating because I want so much for him for this tournament mm. to go really, really well. And I just don't think he, because he's being constrained, I think. Like we said, by the fact he's not being played in his right position, by the way the system's been set up, I feel like he's playing a little bit within himself. Like yeah. the Delhi that I see playing for Spurs, who is totally fearless, who you know is phased by nobody, who will take anyone on, will do the nutmeg, will do the cheeky tricks, like will try anything from any distance. I'm not seeing that Delhi yeah. so far for England, and it's making me sad. And a long shot against Slovakia he there did. was towards the end that did go. It was always rising. Went well, yeah, I was going to say it wasn't really anywhere near. But, but yeah, I'm he's not feel. It doesn't seem to be as confident as. No, as he, he doesn't, and and that's why I mean, it's really. I mean, I don't know. It, it's he's very young, first tournament. It is. Yeah. A, it's a big stage to step up onto him when everyone bangs on about it. But obviously, you know, twelve months ago, he just come out of League One, going into the Championship before he came back to Spurs, and you know, yeah, that's a massive development over twelve months. So what maybe we're asking too much of him. Giving him know. out of ten. Oh. Six. I don't, want to, I don't want to give him a six, but uh, I'm going to have to. I think I'm going to... Yeah, he answered a question from Spurred On on an FA TV video. Yeah, he so did. I'm going to give Hi, him Deli. 10 out of 10. Hi, Thank you, Deli Ali, for answering <laughs> Barnaby's question. That gets you a 10. Especially with the answer that you gave, which was Exactly. <laughs> well, go check it out. It's on don't the Twitter think feed. Eric Dyer's going to love him uh, very much for that. Harry Kane. Now, yes. Harry Kane has yes. come under quite a bit of criticism mm. uh, for not performing so far in this tournament very well. He hasn't really had any chances. We haven't really given no. him any options. Whereas like a lot of other players like Sterling have been in good positions to have shots and so have Lallana. Kane and they both cannot finish. Yeah. Um, two players who I don't, uh, I'm not on Sterling's back as much as other people. Oh, I'm, way, think, on, I'm way on Sterling's back. And I think Lallana has been good. Lallana's been good. Uh, but neither of them would I trust in front of goal. No in a one-on-one -on -one situation. No. I mean, that Sterling chance was a fine example of that. Oh, God. Uh, he just cannot, he just doesn't have the confidence to finish. But Kane, there was a little moment against Slovakia where he tried to get a shot away and couldn't, and then he just kind of, it was like, it reminded me of the start of the season for Spurs, where he just mm. kind of ran off, which was like, oh, God, I need a goal. I need a goal, yeah. I need a goal. But then, you know, we should remind ourselves that that was how it started for Spurs. And he went on. And, and then he went on, won the golden boot, scored. Yeah. Loads and loads of goals. So he's going to win the Golden Boot so with the Euros. Yeah, yeah. He's going to get I, I, 35 goals. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is, again, it's another one, as with Delhi, where it's a little bit frustrating because I do feel like people have jumped on his back quite quickly, yeah. which is annoying because you can't just turn around and say the guy who has been the best striker in England over the course of the whole season has suddenly got Well, rubbish. I guess the problem is that he was so closely matched technically yes. by Jamie Vardy. Yes last season and it's like we have got a couple of options in that position yeah. for good players I think Vardy's performance against Slovakia kind of proves that like it's not him no it's not Harry Kane it's just what's going on at the moment yeah. and also I think the performance of Vardy against Slovakia showed kind of what Vardy doesn't offer the team in terms of mm. his all round game like he's very much got his like one tactic and he's brilliant at it and he yeah. obviously scores a lot of goals that way and it does terrify defences when you've got somebody who's that quick who can just nip in behind you if you're too high up the pitch but in terms of all-round link-up play, he doesn't have that same contribution to the team that Harry does. Yeah. And I think that was obvious, actually, in the second half against Slovakia. I, 
I feel frustrated for Kane because A, I don't think he's getting the service, and B, like he's not really been giving any given any help. You know how we've yeah. had Sturridge and Vardy coming on together and playing together, and you know they brought Rashford on as well against against Wales. You know ha Harry's basically been sat up there and told you've got to go do it by yourself. Yeah, except for ten minutes with Vardy next to him yeah. against Slovakia, which which I, we already proved doesn't really work. No, so I think and it was in a diamonds hit. Oh. Oh, there's, there are so many things that go on about England here. Bottom line is, Harry is not having a great tournament so far, but I don't think that's entirely his fault. No. So, However, I do think if he was playing for a different club, we would be saying he was anonymous and we'd be on his back <laughs> a lot more. So maybe we are a little bit biased. Maybe we're a bit biased. I am going to give Harry Kane, so far this tournament, a 5 out of 10. Uh, although I will give him a 10 out of 10 for the last season. So, mate. I love you. Yeah. What do you think? I, I, yeah, I'll go with five. But again, a bit like with Delhi, I don't want to give this. And I hope that, you know, now that we're going forward, maybe if we get past the last 16, you never know. Uh, Harry's going to be. Yeah. I think he'll be back for the next game. Personally. Yeah, yeah me I too. I think he'll start. That'll be so, interesting to see what happens. Uh, OK. Now onto the Belgians. Toby, Jan, Musa. Musa. Uh, I didn't see Belgium, Belgium's second game. <laughs> Belgium's second game. I'm speaking like Craig Mitch now. <laughs> didn't see the second Belgium game um, because I'm a busy guy. You're a busy uh, guy. But in the first one, uh, I I mean, they obviously won it 3-0. Yeah. They had the Moussa Dembele effect. Yeah. So I can't really give them a rating. I'm presuming Moussa Dembele made a huge impact and was a 10 out of 10. So he gets a 10 from me. What do you think? Did you see the second game? I know, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go ten out of ten for him, but I'll yeah, I mean, he mine did, is based on zero information. He did. He did make an impact, and we did. You know, I have said in a previous video, no yeah, Musa, no win. Play Musa, you win. No Musa, no win. Yeah. And so Belgium learnt their lesson. So I think that shows just how integral to the side that he is. Um, but he did come off injured, which is slight. Ah, uh, bad news. Well, he's out for the first four games anyway. Concern. Any rating for him? Are you able to give any rating for him yet, based on that one game? Based on that one game, I give him a seven. Cool. Well, that's all, it, all we can base it on. That's all I can base it on. What about Toby? Oh, Toby. Uh, seemed quite frustrated oh, in the first game. Yes. Um, yeah, his, his well, diagonal I think that balls was, that I, we came to love so much didn't quite no. hit the mark in that match. Um, but they were. I thought Belgium were pretty terrible in that game. Oh, the whole, all of them were awful. They weren't really a team, were they? No, it was really, it was really disappointing as well, because I'd be really excited and yes. forward to watch yeah, Belgium. Yeah, yeah. And then it was like, oh, God. Yeah. This is like England. What is going on? Yeah. Um, but I mean, yeah, I mean, Toby's as usual defensive rock of herself. I mean, yeah, I, I agree that his um, diagonal passing at the moment doesn't seem to be quite coming off. He seems quite think... frustrated as well by, um, what's the name of their right back? Uh. It begins with a C, but, uh, <laughs> and it sounds like an S, but he seemed very frustrated with him for the first Italy yes. goal. Yes. That amazing pass. Well, he's so used to playing in such an amazing back four at Tottenham that, yeah. you know, I think it must be hard for him to take that step. Exactly, Down. and a bit more pace from Kyle Walker at right back. <laughs> Ever reliable, Kyle Walker yeah. never makes a mistake. Never. Ever. Uh, but yeah, I think his frustration was actually more kind of genuinely with the team than yeah. with yeah, himself. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, any rating? Can you give him any rating? I'll give him a seven as well. I'll give him a six. Uh, and Jan Vertonghen playing at left back, also an angry boy. Angry so man. far from what I've seen, angry probably man. less so in the three nil. Uh, but in that two nil against Italy that they lost, he was. Seemed very frustrated. I thought he seemed like he was out of position quite a lot. He had to kept, keep tracking back. He, he was, was making amazing blocks at the last minute, yeah. but he shouldn't have but to be doing But he shouldn't have had to be doing no. it. That's the problem, isn't it? It's like, oh, it looks good. It's like, well, yeah. actually, you shouldn't have been... And then get up and scream yeah. and blame everyone else. And you're like, well, actually, if you'd just been where you were yeah. supposed to be... But <laughs> it's not his favoured position. No, so, it's not. Uh, and we know that he had a big toys out the pram strop when we played him there for Spurs. Yeah. So uh, I can understand he's maybe a little bit of an angry man. I'd go for a six as well. I'll give I'll him a six, six as well. Okay. Uh, Hugo Lloris, oh, captain Hugo. of France, the hosts. He has been pretty good. Yeah. Can I just give? I'm just going to give him ten just for that save in the opening that game, one save. which was ridiculous. One save that was kicked straight out. Okay. Oh uh, come on! No, he got back there. The, no, he got. The it was, reaction it was absolutely quality. It was when quality. that is absolute point blank, the reaction saves to do that. I'm pranking you. Oh, God. Uh, I will give him a eight. Fine. Uh, ben <laughs> Davies. Now Ben Davies did have to do an amazing block. Yes. And uh, Ben Davies's block was better. I think Ben Davies has been great. I think he ben has Davis been. been really good. He's really shining in that back three for yeah. Wales, which is really impressive. I They're think playing a back three, which is bold anyway, isn't it? Go on Wales. A team like Wales. Fair Go play. On Wales. Fair play. I'm going to give Ben Davies an eight. I'm also going to give him an eight. I think he's been very impressive. He has been excellent. Uh, Kevin Vimmer. Vim I didn't Vimmer. see his. I didn't see his. However many minutes of football he played. About 17-ish. 17 like minutes. That. 16. Did I he think concede? He came on, no, he didn't. 10. I think he came on, yeah, like 73rd, 74th What more can you ask? I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's all he's done so far. Um, hoping he might get a start next game. You never know. But um, his Instagram's very good. So okay, there you for, go. For Austria. So I'll 10 out of 10 for your 17 10. minutes. 10 out of 10 for your Instagram. Absolutely. Uh, Copper America. Eric Lamella. He has scored oh, two goals. You I, love Lamella. I, I do love Lamella. He's been... 
posing on the pitch with Lionel Messi. Yeah, I mean, if you're celebrating with Messi and Messi's loving you, like you've got to be doing something right. Yeah. They're yeah. in the semi-finals. He's played a big part in that. Um, he's now starting for Argentina when he previously wasn't. Yeah. He was coming off the bench, um, and he's now gone from only having scored one goal in his international career to now having scored three, which when you've only played like four or five matches, is pretty good going. So I think, yay, Lamella love. I haven't watched any of the Copa America, but I'll give him a nine. I'm going to give him eight and a half. I'll give him eight and a half, actually. <laughs> uh, and then, I can't, I can't make him better than Eric Dyer, sorry. I okay, I, I understand. <laughs> Finally, Yedlin, uh, who I believe got a red card. Uh, yes, he did, although he was a little bit unfortunate. Um, but I think other than that, he's played quite well. But having said that, you can't really get sent off in international football yeah. in a tournament because, you know, you've not got that many games. It's really unhelpful. So he gets knocked down a bit that for me. I think I'd give him six. OK, then I'll give him six as well because I haven't watched <laughs> any of it. And you're the one who told me he got a red card. Yeah. Uh, just giving ratings out to players. So I haven't even watched. I have no qualifications to be doing this job. Uh, and as is the nature of a football fan. Uh, let us know your ratings for a lot of these players in the comments below, particularly the England ones. Very interested to see what you think of them. Uh, Eric Dyer, obviously, Kyle Walker are the ones that people are saying are shining, and Danny Rose and Deli Ali Harry K, maybe not so much. Um, Toby and Jan, what do you make of them? It's not really the Belgian partnership anymore because they're not both playing at centre back. Is it still working out for them? Are Who you knows? watching more Belgian um, releases? Yeah, oh, I just missed that one game. I, loved, I do love watching Belgium um, <laughs> because I also love Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, and I love him to play for Spurs, but he never will. Uh, Hugo <laughs> Lloris obviously made that amazing save in the first game uh, and he's been quite consistent and he's the captain. Let us know what you think of him in the comments below. Ben Davies, of course, uh, has been playing quality. Wales have been excellent. Uh, and uh, Ben Davies blocking off the line. Amazing. Throwing his body on the line all the time. Amazing. Could he potentially fit in centre-back for Spurs next year if he has to? Could be a good shout. Maybe. Uh, and then Kevin Vimmer. What did you think of his 17 minutes? What did you think of his Instagram? <laughs> Give him a rate in the comments below. And obviously Lamella and Yedlin, let us know your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Drop us a like and we'll see you soon. Hello and welcome to another edition of Spurverts. I'm Reese. I'm here with Emma as usual. Hello. We do not know where Craig is. Check his Snapchat. He's probably driving somewhere endlessly, talking about trainers or following Mika Richards.